Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Clintel, the climate intelligence group of over 700 scientists and professionals, has prepared this urgent message to the United Nations and the European Commission. Climate science should be less political, while climate policies should be more scientific. Now the Clintel Group has sent the declaration with a registered letter to officials at the European Parliament who are in charge of climate policy. Clintel's letter warns European leaders that the general circulation models, those are the computer simulations on which international climate policy is based, are unfit for their purpose. And why? These simulations are created in a very subjective way, and they have predicted far more warming than we actually see in the temperature measurements, meaning the computer models cannot be relied upon to forecast future temperatures. They run too hot, too exaggerated. After the opening addresses, the declaration with the list of experts was presented to the members of the European Commission and members of the European Parliament. The Clintel Group says climate scientists should openly address uncertainties and exaggerations in their predictions of global warming. And meanwhile, politicians should be dispassionate, should count the real costs as well as the imagined benefits of their policy measures. The declaration, in short, is as follows. Natural as well as anthropogenic human-caused factors cause warming. Warming is far slower than predicted. Climate policy relies on inadequate models. CO2 is plant food, the basis of all life on Earth. Global warming has not increased natural disasters. And the EU climate policy must respect scientific and economic realities. There's no climate emergency. Therefore, there's no cause for panic and alarm. We strongly oppose the harmful and unrealistic net zero CO2 policy that's proposed for 2050. If better technical approaches emerge, and they certainly will, then we'll have ample time to reflect and adapt. The aim of European policy should be to provide reliable and affordable energy at all times. Clintel signatories say political leaders must recognize that science is far from understanding the full effects of the climate system. Politicians should focus on prioritizing adaptation strategies based on proven and affordable technologies to address potential changes in climate. History shows us that climate can dramatically change to be either warmer or cooler, and we should be prepared for either. So, you may be wondering, why aren't these scientists listening to Greta Thunberg? After all, she's far more famous than they are, and she claims to cite the science, and she gets headline news everywhere she goes. Well, Greta does cite the science, but out of context. The report she cites discusses computer simulated probabilities, not reality. And Greta is headline news because she has a multi-billion dollar advertising and public relations network behind her. They're using her a child, as a walking advertisement for their plan to push social media, social engineering, carbon offsets, and renewables, the very things that are destroying Germany's industrial economy and putting ordinary people like you and me in the poorhouse. The Clintel Group signatories are scientists and professionals who are willing to face the insults and condemnation of being called deniers because they want you to know the truth. There's no climate emergency. You're being had, and your children are being cruelly gaslit by green billionaires who just want to get richer. So please read the Clientel Declaration. They've also put together an expanded, plain language discussion of their points to help people see their reasoning. It's time to end climate bullying and catastrophizing fear. It's time to have open civil debate and full cost-benefit analysis on climate and energy policies in every country worldwide. And it's time that we expose the environmental groups that are acting as proxies for these carbon trading interests. It's time to unfriend ENGOs. So please join Clintel or support them, or join us, Friends of Science Society. It's time for common sense on climate. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>